Bungu was speaking during debate on the budgetary allocation to the Ministry of Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security. He says although he is happy with mobile and outreach programs provided, there is need to decentralize some of these functions. He also raised concern over payment required for individuals to gain permanent residency status. Bungo claims foreigners can easily afford to pay the $18,000 required to apply for such status, while the poor majority are left with no such option. I seek concurrence of this House that the National Council calls for the Ministry of Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security to issue permanent resident payment as well as citizenship and naturalization to the holders of SWA IDs free of charge. The delay by the Ministry of Home Affairs, Safety and Security to come up with the modalities to legalize the status of stateless and undocumented persons is unacceptable. The excuse of saying that some regions did not submit the list of potential stateless and undocumented persons does not hold water. The Ministry can start with a validation process with those regions that submitted the list. Swapu's constituency councillor in the Hobabas district, Augustinus Tebele, appealed for an increase in salaries of police officers as he said this would not only boost morale to fight crime but also reduces instances of bribery. If you really peruse through the newspapers of last week, you realize that there is a lot of theft increased in Omaheke region, specifically the Kalahari constituency, Chaka area. So where 136 goals were killed uh, by some members that were sent by some members from this house, I don't know. Uh, and they were killed, hurts, and skins are just left like that, abandoned in that field, only the meat is carried. But uh, when the community policing uh, took dra drastic measures and tried to curb these people. They halted them, and it was difficult for our security forces to due to transport uh, lack of transports and so on to reach the the evidence. So and uh, in the same vein, then the documents after that, the dockets got missing. And then somebody ask yourself, what is the problem? So briberies, all of this type of things are happening. PDM's constituency councillor for Poor Urban, while supporting the $5.5 billion budgetary allocation to the Home Affairs Ministry, lamented the long distances that villagers are expected to travel to access public services. Only offices, Home Affairs offices in Opuo, Korihas, Ocho, and satellite office in Epupa, Kawadi. And the most difficult constituencies like Oporo and Sesfondain, those people are catered through either Opuo Eben or Ocho and Koreas. That is very difficult and it's uncalled for. Because these people, even Sesfondain itself, as the head of the, the constituency, the head of the village of constituency, is 150 that we have to drive to Opuo to acquire this birth, birth certificate registration. The alleged discrimination and reluctance to issue birth certificates for newborns to fathers in the absence of mothers or vice versa by officials within the Home Affairs Ministry also aroused debate in the chamber.